Hello my friends, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope everybody has been doing well. Today's reading is going to be a bit different. This is not going to be a pick a card. This is not even going to be a tarot reading. Today we're doing an intuitive scrying reading. So if you don't know what scrying is, it's basically a form of divination where you receive messages by looking into a reflective object or surface, such as a crystal ball, a mirror, water, um, even fire, you can use for scrying. So this is not going to be a pick a anything reading. This is just going to be a collective thing. So if you are here, then you probably already kind of vibe with my readings and there should definitely be something here for you. Or if this reading just found you randomly, then there's probably something here for you too. This is intended to be a bit more relaxing compared to my other readings. So if you want to close your eyes and listen, you can. Or if you want to meditate along with me. I'm going to clear the space here. This incense is also an offering to my guides and ancestors who will be bringing the messages forth today. Before we get started, I do need to say thank you to my morning stars, Stephanie and Marigold. Thank you so much for being members of the coven. If you would like to become a channel member, the link to do that will be in the description below. Also, if you're interested in getting a private tarot reading with me, the link to my Etsy store will be in the description as well. And I do have my runes over here, which um, I may be pulling a few uh, during this reading or maybe at the end. I am not an expert rune reader by any means, but I do like to use them sometimes when I'm doing these more intuitive readings, just kind of as confirmation of the messages that are coming through. And keep in mind, this is just a general collective reading, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind. Okay. So immediately I do see Anubis here, of course. He is one of my primary spirit guides, but I feel that he is also here for a number of you. I'm also seeing a lot of ancestors here, family and loved ones that have crossed over. I am seeing like the interior of a very old house, lots of old dark woods, and it feels, it's, it's kind of chilly, kind of drafty. You can kind of hear the floorboards creaking beneath your feet. And I see someone looking out a window of this house. <clears throat> the face is a little distorted by the panes, the window panes. It's that very old kind of warped glass. If you've ever been in a very, very old house, you, you know what I'm talking about. And then there is this desire, I feel, to to be free, like this yearning for freedom to break away from something that is restricting you or holding you back. You may be feeling very confined in your life at this point in time, very much like you are 
kind of bound maybe by your circumstances or maybe bound by people, certain people around you. For whatever reason, it just, it, it's like you feel as though there's something you cannot do or something you cannot pursue or achieve because you do not have the freedom to do so. Whatever that might mean for you. For some, it could be a financial restriction or, you know, other obligations that you have. Or like I said, it could be certain individuals in your life that would not want you to do this thing or that are in some way kind of keep holding you in place. But there is definitely this sense of yearning. Some of you maybe are wanting to travel. Some of you maybe are wanting to actually move away, to, to move like some long distance and, and live somewhere, somewhere far away from where you are now. Or this could be more of a like move, movement uh, more in the like metaphorical sense of like just moving on from a moving on from your current circumstances or moving on from a certain situation that you're in. This is Wunjo, and I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. Like I said at the beginning of this, I am not an expert rune reader. I am very much a novice, really, when it comes to reading runes, but um, this has associations with prosperity and success, um, reaping the rewards of your efforts. There's also something here about fellowship, fellowship with others, fellowship with like-minded people, or just kind of finding a place where you feel comfortable or where you maybe feel as though you better fit in or something along those lines. I feel yearning and I also feel this restlessness. Many of you have put a, a great deal of effort into getting where you are right now. And, you know, you, you are hard workers, you have been very dedicated to becoming, you know, being successful and living a good life and being abundant. But you maybe have reached a point where you just kind of feel as though you have begun to stagnate or like your success or your momentum has kind of plateaued. And maybe that's where this longing to expand or this longing to broaden your horizons is coming from because you feel like you have kind of reached the end of this current path that you're on and you're feeling like you need to, like, like maybe it's time for you to embark on a new adventure or to embark on the next stage of your journey. But there's some significant like shift or some uh, substantial change that needs to happen in order for you to be able to st uh, step onto this next part of your path if that makes sense i'm seeing like a circle like a just a big a big circle like a zero or 
it's like some kind of cycle is coming to a close for you and a new one is on the verge of beginning of, of getting started We are approaching the end of the year. If you're watching this around the time that this is uploaded, it is October of 2024. Next year is 2025, the halfway point in this decade that we are in. And it feels like a turning point. It feels like It feels like the coming year, yeah, it feels like the coming year may be a turning point for many of us in our lives. And even if you are watching this months or years down the road, I do feel that this is still applicable for you. Um, but just collectively, it feels as though the coming year is going to be a turning point for many people and there may be some big shifts coming in our lives at this time or in the near future, in the coming months. Things that are not serving you or things that are not um, in alignment with you are going to be falling away. And for some, this could be a job, or it could be relationships, or it could be even your living environment, your home, your living situation. And you will begin to move towards things that are better aligned with you and your energy and I think your goals, your ambitions moving forward. The things that have felt, the, the, the things that have caused you to feel as though you are stagnating or that you have plateaued, those are the things that I think are going to fall away and create space for new things to come in. I feel that a lot of you Burkana. This is, um, yeah, this, this does align a lot with what we've uh, been talking about because this is like a rebirth or a renewal of some kind, um, some kind of growth, some kind of new beginning coming in. So like I said, sort of a turning point, definitely a big shift in the energies around us, a big shift perhaps in even our like day-to-day -day reality. I see you looking into a mirror and I feel, I feel that many of you are being called to develop your own abilities like psychically or spiritually i feel like a lot of you right now are being called to do that or to start learning more about those things because it seems like a lot of you watching this or listening you have this like aptitude for these things, but maybe you've never really seriously pursued it or um, spent much time learning about it, how to tune in to these abilities or how to develop these skills. 
and it seems like you are definitely being called to do that or, or to start doing that or to start taking it more seriously maybe um i feel there are a lot of ancestors here who are really um a lot of you have ancestors who really want to communicate with you they want to give you messages about that that relate to i think your your path that you that you're on um but also these are messages that i think relate to like your your family situations um the dynamics in your family something like that and this this part is not going to be like relevant to every single person who sees this but i i do feel a lot of you have ancestors that really uh want to communicate with you directly and it, it's because they they have specific messages for you that they feel like you need to hear that could be beneficial to your healing or your growth as a person and these are things that are of course um that that of course pertain to like i said your families and and your you know the the dynamics within your families and so i don't want to go into detail really about the specifics of of what those things might be but um you may want to really start seriously looking into developing these um your abilities or learning some some new methods of communication so that you can talk to the talk to your ancestors talk to these spirits and and receive these messages that they want to give to you and maybe the development of your spiritual or psychic abilities is going to in some way help to facilitate this turning point in your life perhaps becoming more in tune with that side of yourself will give you a push to you know break free from the things that are currently confining you or um yeah i It's like, I, I just see you like coming into alignment with spirit, coming into alignment with the universe. And as a result of that, things that you don't need anymore, just kind of naturally falling away. And you may not even necessarily have to try. You may not even have to necessarily put any effort into doing away with these things it seems like they're just going to naturally fall by the wayside they're saying here this should be an exciting time for you some of you may be feeling anxious about what's to come some of you might be feeling worried or frightened even of the future but they're saying that is not you know these changes are nothing to be afraid of these changes should excite you. They should bring you joy. You should be eager to see the, the dramatic ways that your life is going to transform in the coming months. Some of you maybe are a little bit afraid to let go of certain things that you currently are holding on to and that's natural I think many people have kind of a fear or a reluctance when it comes to change because change brings with it the unknown, right? And the unknown can be a very scary thing, but the unknown can also be really exciting. It can also be a really positive thing. 
So if you do find yourself fearful of change because you don't know what exactly to expect or because it is different, because maybe you're comfortable where you are right now, even if things are not exactly ideal, you have become comfortable in your current environment or in your current circumstances. And breaking free and moving forward and embracing change would involve you becoming uncomfortable for a period of time. Your spirit guides want you to know that they are there, that they, that they are here for you. And that anytime you find yourself feeling uncomfortable or feeling afraid or anxious of the future, you can lean on them. And they will do what they can to help you. They will be by your side to help you get through all of the coming changes, all of the transitions. You can rely on them. You can seek them out for comfort. They will gladly give you whatever they are able to give you. They want to give you peace and they want to give you protection and comfort, all of those things. I'm gonna get, I think, one more, uh, one more rune and just see what else. See what they have to add to this or if there's anything else they want to bring up. We have Jira. This is harvest. Um, abundance and success, rewards that you have earned. This can also be an omen of peace or contentment, tranquility. Yeah. I'm seeing right now like a golden field, like a field of, like a field of wheat or just like golden sun-kissed grass <laughs> or, or, or something like that. And I see you just kind of sitting at the edge of this field and it's like, the 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 feeling that i get here is it's just so calm it is so serene all of your needs are met you are not wanting for anything you feel at peace you feel you feel fulfilled emotionally full your cup is full but also your fields are thriving, your stores for the coming winter are full, your harvest has been plentiful or is going to be plentiful. And even if you are alone, even if you are physically by yourself, you are not lonely. You are not wanting for anything. They're saying, take that how you will. 
maybe that means some of you have certain relationships in your life right now that you maybe recognize that you need to step away from, but there's just, again, there may be some fear or hesitation surrounding that. I feel like this may also be talking about, for some, um, you know, a change in your career. Some of you, if you have been feeling led to, like, start your own business or become self-employed in some way, this could be your sign that, you know, that is a good step for you to take, that you will be successful in that. Granted, you put forth the effort. So if you've been thinking about making a transition in your career, this could be a good time to start really implementing that change or, or really start taking steps towards doing that. Or some of you maybe even, um, th this maybe even is a sign that it is a good time to um, go back to school to uh, further your, your education if that's something you've considered. I'm just seeing, and, and what, they're t what they're telling me right now is that the next several months, in the next several months, your life is going to change dramatically and unexpectedly in ways that you, you may not be able to anticipate. And there may be moments where it feels like too much. There may be moments where you feel very overwhelmed and frightened of these changes, but they're saying in the end, it's all going to be for the best and you must have faith that spirit is protecting and watching over you and that everything that is happening is going to be in your best interest for your highest good in the end. I feel like for some of you, even between now and like Christmas or between now and New Year's, things could dramatically change. And like once these changes start happening, they're going to happen quickly. So don't be afraid of what's to come. That's if if you take nothing else from this reading, take take that message. Don't be afraid of what's to come. You should be excited. You should be eager to see the ways in which your life is about to transform. You have so much to look forward to and you are so blessed and protected. Have faith in that. Okay, my friends, I think that's going to do it for right now. Those are really all the messages that I am getting at the moment. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I know it was um, not like anything that I've ever done on this channel before, but hopefully it resonated with you and hopefully you liked it. Please let me know your thoughts. If this gets, you know, good feedback, then I would be more than happy to do this more regularly um, because this was kind of fun and definitely, definitely a much more, I don't know, calming or, or tranquil experience than like the tarot readings, you know, I, I love tarot, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love doing tarot readings, but something about, you know, these more intuitive um, sessions just make me feel m uh, more connected, I guess, to spirit. So I don't know. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought. Thank you again for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope I see you guys next time. Bye.